welcome back. It is a dangerous crossing, a busy rail station in our area with a tempting shortcut that puts commuters at risk. It's a dangerous situation and an accident waiting to happen. So what's being done to protect these people from themselves? That's the subject of tonight's Fact Finders report. Here's Peter Thorne. Jim and Cuddy, what we saw was pretty stunning. People risking their lives, crossing four sets of train tracks instead of just taking the stairs to get to where they're going. And these aren't just any tracks. They're part of the Northeast Corridor, home to the high-speed Acela, which speeds through this station at over 100 miles per hour with little warning and no way to stop fast. There's few things more dangerous than a speeding train, and at this station in our area, massive locomotives flash up and down these tracks fast and furious in both directions, some barreling through at 125 miles per hour. At Metuchen Station in New Jersey, where during the AM and PM rush, these platforms are packed with commuters, but some are in more of a rush than others to get where they're going, making deadly dangerous choices. You might think the fear of being slammed into at high speed by one of these. Might be enough to convince people not to risk their lives and dash across these tracks. But you'd be wrong. After Fact Finders got a tip, we put Metuchen Station under the microscope and were shocked to see time and again people willing to break the law and risk their lives just to save a few seconds in getting from one side of this station to the other by walking across the tracks. Crossing the tracks? I think it's crazy. Foolish, crazy, maybe, but a lot of people are doing it without a care in full view. We visited Metuchen day after day, and what we saw? People repeatedly making this dangerous crossing. It's obviously a very dangerous condition that has to be safeguarded. I think the fundamental question here is safety. We caught up with one track crosser strolling across with nonchalance in heels, a bag on each arm, and wearing earphones. We asked her why she was willing to risk her life to save a few seconds. Because it's shorter and I have a back pain. I cannot walk the stairs. She admits crossing these tracks every day right around the same time, and she's not worried at all about getting hit by a train. Why? Why I'm not worried? Because I trust myself. I can see what's going on in the right and left. You might call what's going on at Metuchen an accident waiting to happen. Except fact finders learned it already has happened. Published reports reveal in June this year, a 66-year-old woman was hit and killed by a train at 8 a.m. at Metuchen Station. Police say she reportedly walked down from the station platform across the tracks and was hit and killed by a high-speed train. We took a look to find out just how hard it is to get near the tracks at Metuchen, only to discover it's done with jaw-dropping ease. These gates, meant to prevent people getting easy access to the tracks, we found swinging wide open. The heavy locks and chains on the gates, apparently just for decoration. They weren't being used at all. And check out this guy. In such a rush and so eager to avoid the stairs, he scampered up and over this railing to get to the platform. This frequent commuter has seen so much dangerous behavior at Metuchen. He would only speak to us in shadow for fear of retribution from fellow passengers. I've seen up to three individuals cross the track at one time. It's amazing how people would take their life in their hands by crossing the tracks. I've also seen people cross the track in the rain. He told us he warned New Jersey Transit way back in January about the dangerous condition at Metuchen. Commuters crossing the tracks, the unlocked gates, and got no response at all. But when fact finders contacted New Jersey Transit and showed them our pictures of what we caught on tape, they responded immediately. To the extent that these are our customers and this is our station, this is our issue. Agreeing these open gates were unacceptable. Now they're locked. Vowing stepped up enforcement, uniformed and plainclothes officers keeping close watch on Metuchen Station, ticketing people who break the law and cross these tracks, and also asking for people to use more common sense. Urging commuters to think twice about making this dangerous crossing. It might save you a minute, but cost you your life. Now, if you watch the story closely, you probably saw the low wooden platform and wood planks on the tracks at Metuchen. They look like a crosswalk, almost inviting people to do what they're not supposed to. That area is a restricted zone where local trains stop from time to time, and access is supposed to be controlled by the gates you saw, which are now locked as a result of the story. Now, if you've got another story you want me to look into in depth,
don't just sit there. <laughs> Let me know at our website, cw11.com slash Fact finders, Jim McKay. Well, that was just a big old obvious one staring at you. Oh, yeah. Right that, there, that wasn't was it? It's wild, isn't it? And, and yet you, you everybody has an excuse. For everyone doing has it. an excuse. Uh, New Jersey Transit, I think, would say they have a certain responsibility, obviously, to keep the gates locked, but they say the traveling mm -hmm. public has to use some common sense. No Don't kidding. jaywalk on railroad on tracks. On railroad tracks. Okay. <laughs> Never. Thank you.